Hey, what is up guys? This is Talit and Carrick on Mod My Eye, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an app with my Freedom App Studio. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a folder for your app. I called mine Cool Hello World. Then open it up, and we're just going to go in here and copy from the samples folder the template and the sample icon. Now the icon has to be 57 by 57 and a PNG. Um, I will not resize this for you in the app, although in the future version that will be available. So let's open up um, that, and we'll rename it to icons, and then we're going to open up our template, and we'll rename it um, my app. Hi. Okay, so open it up in Notepad plus plus, and here we go. Alrighty, so now I'm just going to open up the app to show you guys the fields that we have to input. So as you can see, we have an icon and an app. So let's open up that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Hello World program here. And what it's going to do is it's going to change the div text label, which is going to start off with the text. This is some text, exclamation point. And when you click the button, it's going to change it to Hello World. So I'm just going to go through here and make it in JavaScript. Um, now, this app development does work through JavaScript, and it's really, really easy to use. And I will include some uh, extra JavaScript functions that are particular to the iPhone. Um, and we're just going to create a function called do test and uh, add the function document dot um, get element by ID the test and then set the internet HTML or the text value of that div to hello world. Alrighty, so now that we got that going, we got to add an onclick event to the button. So onclick equals do test. Alright, that's done. Now we can close that. Just going to show you in Firefox what that looks like. Alright, so as you can see, when we click the button, it says Hello World. Just going to add some line breaks there, um, because I don't want it to be too scrunched together. Um, also, in the future, I'm going to have an iPhone emulator that will allow you to see what it's going to look like on your phone. But here, let's just open up the icon, change it up. Um, yeah, just going to use the template since it's easier. Fill that brown. Add a C, I think I'm going to do. Yeah. Because my name's Carter. Alrighty, let's move that around. Ugh, stupid paint. Now, of course, you can just edit this in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you prefer to use for your graphics editing, but just for the sake of time and simplicity, I'm going to use this to make a horrible icon. And yeah, fill bucket, get it brown. And there we go. Okay, so now let's go back to the app and select our icon. And we're just going to find it here. Cool hello world .icons .png. Find the HTML. And what this app is going to do, oh, and we'll call this, um, uh, no, that's, I don't want to call it that. How about Carter's app? No, not Carter's first app, Carter's app. Okay, and what this is going to do, it's going to create an IPA application from our HTML file, which can run on the iPhone as a regular app. Pretty cool, isn't it? Um, it's really easy to create these apps, and as you can see, I'm creating this app in like four minutes. I think it's under five minutes. Yeah, there we go. Um, now let's just install it, and I'm just going to show you that it does work. I'm going to open up iTunes here. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, this app there. Now we're just going to go back to apps, and Carter's apps right there. Sync it. And once it's done syncing, it will be on our iPhone and clickable. Um, now, this is a regular iPhone application. It runs on jailbroken phones to start with. Um, but I guess if you wanted to, you could sign it for uh, the App Store. But I don't have a certificate, so I'm just going to use it on my jailbroken phone. Ah, stupid VNC. 
But yeah, this is my iPhone on VNC. We're just going to scroll to the right page, and as you can see there, we have Carter's app. And when it runs, it says this is some text, click say hi, and it says hello world. And there you go. We've just made an iPhone app in five minutes that runs. It's not like a web app that um, you have to have in a specific app store and then launch from there. No, this is a legit iPhone app. Um, it is an actual app. So as you can see, yeah, it's a regular app. Go to my taskbar and it's there. And there you have it. Um, enjoy your app creation and there will be a lot of updates coming soon so uh, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Thanks!